Okay, uh, we're going to get started here um, with, ne with Nebraska women's basketball coach Amy Williams. Um, coach will make an opening statement and then take your questions. Remember, if you have a question, just enter that you have a question in the chat and I will call on you in order. Coach, please make an opening statement. Okay, uh, just an exciting um, win for our team. Um, I'm really, really proud of this team. I think, you know, a lot of the uh, off season, we really talked about really defining what we want our team to look like, and I thought this t uh, performance tonight really kind of um, was the picture of what we would like for our team, just grit and toughness and uh, playing every possession and getting contributions from everywhere, sharing the basketball, um, you know, 17 assists on 24 made baskets, um, just trusting each other. I just, uh, I really liked what I saw out of our group today. First question we have is from Kayla, Caleb Henry from KLIN. <laughs> Coach, you've been shorthanded for much of this season, and then Izzy is out for this one. Just talk about the, the buy-in from your team on both ends of the floor, but especially defensively to hold this team who had not scored under 78 and was averaging nearly 90 a game. Yeah, I mean, I just thought that um, our team is, is right now so connected and united that uh, they really, they didn't want to le let Izzy down, uh, you know, or Trinity or, you know, any of their teammates that haven't really, that aren't able to get out there on the court. And so they, they continue to fight, you know, all of them kind of com committed to, you know, just find a way to bring just a little bit more to try to kind of make up for uh, Izzy's absence. And it wasn't going to be, you know, one per person in general that was going to have to take over, uh, you know, what she does for our team but just everybody finding ways to contribute just a little bit more and I thought we really bought into that and um, and you saw that particularly on the defensive end of the floor and and just proud of the way we stuck to our game plan Brent Wagner Lincoln Journal star yeah with uh, with Kate when she gets in position down low there and she's she's quick to the basket how how does that change your team yeah, I mean, I think, you know, obviously Kate, when she is, um, you know, got things going like she does and, and you know, you know, wanting and demanding the basketball down low, she, she has a myriad of ways that she can go and get herself uh, buckets and points and, and, you know, got herself to the free throw line today, but uh, just finished, got some offensive rebounds that I thought were huge for our team and really sparked us. But, you know, I just thought she was playing with confidence and, and that um, adds an, a, a complete different element to our group. Shane Gilster, Huskers Illustrated. Hey, Coach. Uh, talk to me about uh, Bella's performance tonight. She really stepped up for Izzy, uh, 14 boards, six points, I believe. Talk to me about her overall play. Yeah, um, I'll be honest. You know, I just was thrilled with the way that you know Bella uh, approached things, and um, you know, I think she she just showed a lot of toughness tonight. She tweaked an ankle, kind of um, you know landed a funky on a, a contest that kind of um, gave her some back problems and spasms, like kind of throughout the game. But she fought through all of that to lead our team in rebounding. Um, you know, I thought Kate was able to really go and alter some shots and block some shots and move out and do some things uh, knowing and trusting that Bella uh, will swoop in there and grab some rebounds and and um, you know she showed great toughness with that here uh, today. Derek Peterson, Hale Varsity. Hey, Amy, um, a few games ago when you played Rutgers at, at the end of the game you said you know you never dreamed of a defensive performance like the one that you got and then it seems like every game since your defense has been just as good. Um, with a short rotation, like it's hard to play defense as hard as as your ladies are playing night in and night out. Like, it's got to feel good as a coach, right? When you consistently get that kind of effort on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, it does. I mean, it feels good. Uh, I, I think that our team knows that that's going to be uh, our best chance to, to try to have success and to get wins is to really commit to playing on that side of the ball. And it's something that, you know, they feel like that we can commit to and, and we can control. And uh, it's fun for me. And I do feel incredibly proud uh, to watch them um, when we put together those type of performances. Your three freshmen were really good, too, on, on that side today. Um, what kind of development have you seen from them just over these past few games? Yeah, um, 
and I just am so proud of those those three. Um, I think you know we got great performances and just you know a hustle play here or there. I, you know I know um, Ani you know, would love to shoot the ball a little bit better, but even just kind of hustle coming away with the loose ball and then assisting that bounce pass to to Wit uh, cutting to the basket or just you know giving us some extra plays. But you know it's really uh, I think what's telltale is you know we may um, we may take a day off you know uh, here or there. And all of a sudden, when I'm in my office, I'll hear um, shoes squeaking and balls bouncing, and I peek out there, and um, our three freshmen are playing three on three with three of our scout guys and, and getting after it, you know, even on our day off. And I think, you know, that's the type of work ethic that pays off and um, uh, why they're continuing to progress and, um, and have confidence to be able to step in and make plays for our team. Abby Barmore, Omaha World Herald. Hi, Amy. So um, your captains today, Kate Kane and Sam Heidi, did really well. Kate had almost a triple-double, and Sam had a double-double. How do you feel about your captains stepping up when one of them, Izzy Bourne, was unable to play? Yeah, I mean, I think it shows great maturity from those captains and, and you know, desire to, to really kind of uh, to try to step in and, and, um, and perform for Izzy, you know, just in her absence. Everybody knows kind of just how, how uh, hard it is for kids like Trinity and Michael and, and, um, and uh, particularly Izzy, who's been with us most of the way, to, to have to sit and watch. So, um, you know, I thought great maturity from both Kate and, um, and Sam. I can't recall you know, a, a triple double is such a special thing. Uh, you don't see it happen very often. And to have Kate Kane be one block shot away from it, and Sam Hybe be two rebounds away from it, to have two players in the same ball game who nearly um, put up a triple double, it's it's just really really special effort. Jacob Vanderford, Huskers Illustrated. Hey, Coach, great win. Um, so I had a question for you, kind of piggybacking off of that last question about Sam Hybe tonight. Um, can you just talk about, a little bit more about her leadership? She seems to always step up in the clutch situations, um, especially in that Northwestern game where you guys won um, at the buzzer. Um, and then tonight when she drove in and got that um, three-point – or unconventional three-point play um, in the last minute of the game. Just kind of talk about her performance and her impact for this team. Yeah, I really think that that um, final play, you know, we've been seeing all the work she's put in kind of pay off and, and she's a critical part to our team. She's gaining confidence all season. But um, I think that shot uh, against Northwestern, the game winner and, and you know, whatever is really just kind of um, – uh, elevated even just you know her confidence and and um, she does so much for our team and um, that's the thing that I love about the way Sam is playing right now is um, she's not letting two for 11 define her um, she's still finding ways to make huge plays I thought I think they cut it to three points right there when she made that kind of hesitation drive got the and one and drew it back to a six point ball game I, I could be off about the score but I, I'm pretty sure that's about where we were just the ice in her veins kind of play and um, and seven for seven from the free throw line and handling the basketball and um, double figure assists and and going down and rebounding down the floor and you know finding ways to continue to to um, be so impactful out there, even with a two for 11 uh, performance, I thought she was just special. And um, I think that's uh, shown her, her growth. Coach, you held Ohio State to nine points in the second quarter, and they entered the game averaging 90 points a game. Did you really have some thought that your team could hold Ohio State to single digits in a quarter? Um, well, Jeff, we didn't put any numbers on what we thought we could hold them to or whatever, but we knew this is an incredibly high-powered offense, and it really starts and st uh, stops with their transition offense and pace of play, and um, our, our best hope to try to hold them under that 90-point average was to uh, really control tempo, and I thought that um, we stuck to our guns on a few things to try to, try to really make that happen, and, and um, that was, was good to see that pay off. All right. That is going to do it for Coach Williams. We will have Kate Kane up next. Thanks, guys.